Ladies and gentlemen, I would first of all like to tell you a story about what happened in Romania. A really sad story because the Romanian government has actually sacrificed a young, a young generation. Um, they have changed the baccalaureate, they have changed the education, educational uh, system in 2010. All the young people in Romania came out and said out loud that this is not right, this educational system does not work and won't work and we do not want to get this edu educational system. But what did the parliament do? Nothing. They didn't listen to us. They said that we are wrong because we are young, because we haven't been to university yet, because we haven't met the problems in the world, and because, I don't know, we are not part of the parliament. They said that we are young because we are inexperienced. But they, what they didn't understand is that because of the fact that we are young, we understand the world better than them. Be because the fact that we are young, we understand better what and how would actually things affect us. Because youth is the future, and what they have to understand it's that their decisions will most affect us than will actually affect them. What they have to understand is that every decision that they are taking without involving us, without asking for our opinion at least, will actually cause more trouble to us than to them because we are the next generation. We are the ones that will be suffering from their mistakes. And this is actually what happened in Romania. One generation has fully suffered and has, hasn't taken the baccalaureate. 48% of the people of the young generation haven't taken graduated high school. And why is that? Because of the fact that they had implemented this educational system. And now what happened to those young people? Those people haven't been to university. Those those people cannot work actually right now, and those people are not stupid. They do. They can't. They can think. They could work. They could have been to a university. It's only that the way they have changed the educational system and the way they made the baccalaureate was really, really hard and really not appropriate for the way we were thinking and for the things that we know how to do. And. This is how they have, for their mistake and for not listening to what we have told them, they have actually sacrificed us. And we, we believe, furthermore, that it's the duty of the European Union to actually start and propose a policy that would oblige the countries to implement certain national councils, to make, to oblige the countries to listen to the voice of the young people. Because we do have a voice. Because even if we are young, that doesn't mean that we are right. This is a logical fallacy to believe that if we are young and we do not have as more experience as you people do, we are wrong. We may see things different, but this that doesn't mean that our way of seeing is, uh, the things is wrong. And we believe that, um, moreover, we believe that by making, by uh, enforcing this kind of policy in states, uh, young people will actually uh, gr evolve the way that this generation thinks will actually evolve because, um, because they will feel responsible about, about what is going on in the country and because they will, uh, when you feel that you're involved in something, you care more. And this is what we want to, this is where I want to live in, in a place where young people believe in democracy, in a place where young people believe they have a saying and in a place where young people um, get are more responsible. Thank you very much. Well done.